Well, hello, my friends. Back in action with the GoPro 10, finally. Um, GoPro sent me a new one, no questions asked, and uh, gotta love it. But anyway, first problem I ever had with one. And then the 9, we had trouble with that too. It had a green screen, but they replaced that as well. So, loving my GoPros right now. And uh, I recently got an Insta360 X3, um, 360 degree camera. That might be cool. We're going to play around with that some too. Um, a lot of wind today, really windy. So you might hear a gust from every now and then. And uh, we're going to head out and do a little nugget hunting today. And using the GPX 6000 from Mine Lab with a 14 inch by 9 inch Coiltech Goldhawk coil. And we're going to get a little better depth out of that than we were with that 9 inch and the 11 inch. So, you know, cross your fingers, you might get lucky today. I got a little different setup today because I got the uh, heavier coil on and the smaller coils I have no problem not using a bungee but with this 14 inch coil I am using a bungee cord okay and it hooks to my chest up here on my backpack that works quite well and keeps me from getting my arm fatigued especially when hunting the hillsides and stuff with the bigger coils just a little tip and off we go, a couple pieces of trash so far. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get into some gold. Well, so far nothing but junk. And we got a target. I moved the dirt already off the top of the rocks. This one sounds like it's a little deeper, so I decided to share it with you. A lot of hot rocks in here too. And I think that's what this is right here, maybe. Nope. And uh, this is an onion, believe it or not. These little plants right here, I don't know if you can see that, but they're onions. And we do have wild onions that grow out here, and they are edible. Hey, we got a halfway decent sounding target here. Moved it. In here somewhere. Sounds like we got it. Now we're hearing the headphones as I get closer. If I get away, I don't hear them as bad. A lot of trash in here, a little piece of iron, and you name it. The old timers weren't exactly worried about someone coming along later with a metal detector. So, yeah, down to the bottom here. I don't see anything. Yep, BB, right here. And even this big coil, um, it's coil tech coil. That little bitty BB, listen. We heard that a couple inches deep too. Two or three inches. Loud. Yep. Hell, yeah, couldn't go today without digging a BB now, could we? Look at that pack rat nest. And I probably wouldn't have seen this tailings pile right here. It's an old one. You can see where the old timers worked a little bit right in here and a little bit over there. Um, but man, look at that pack rat nest. That's a whopper. And he's got poop in there, sticks, thorns, lots of choya thorns. Woo. And there's his little entry right there. You can see he's got a run that comes right out here and goes, another one goes around there. But he's got those little landmine choya pieces everywhere. You don't want to go in there. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm going to detect around here some more. Who knows? Maybe there's gold. Heck. Maybe he has some stashed. Well, I thought I was just digging another piece of trash right here. It's down about four inches, I guess. But it wasn't trash. It's this little guy right here. If I dug a whole bunch of... Oh, let's get this dirt out of here. I dug a whole bunch of... Uh, 
BBs right in here and a little piece of iron and then I thought I was digging another BB or something and that little nugget come out. Cute little guy, huh? Let's get in the sun. There we go. Woohoo! Nugget number one. All right, we got a faint target right in here. Right about in here. Get the stuff off the top. Make sure it's not just a surface hot rock. And no, we have a target. And hopefully it'll be down a little ways. The BB's generally around here, right on top. And we could use the front or the back of the coil here. We moved it. Yeah, it's gonna be likely a BB. That choy is sticking in my leg, I can feel it. Not sure what's going on here. Let's see if we can move it. Not yet. Huh. Get this cactus out of my leg. Ow. Okay. Move a little bit more dirt, get the tip of the coil in there. Still in there. Okay. Right here. We got it. All right, let's see what it is we got. It's down a little ways. That's always a good sign. Well, most of the time anyway. Yeah. All right, it's in my hand. Now it's in the scoop. Let's see what we got here. Piece of lead. Yep. Yeah, nugget was right over there. This one's a piece of lead. Yippee. Okie dokie, we got another target right up under this bush. Okay. Kind of faint. Could be this. Nope. Something up under there, isn't there? A screamer. That rock. Got it out of the hole. And in the scoop. There. In my hand right away. I felt something heavy here. There's something heavy in there. Yeah, turn the camera a little more. I don't know, I mean, it's getting on these hillsides. Kind of tough. Screamer. Oh. I felt it hit my hand. And there it is. <laughs> wow! Yeah! Look at that! Looks like a little foot. <laughs> Looks like somebody's darn little three-toed foot. That'd be a gold, my friends. Now that's a nice piece. Huh? Listen to that. Huh? Right under that bush. Probably nobody poked under that bush. Hmm. 
Now I'm stoked. Now I'm stoked. Always recheck them holes. You know, people don't like poking under bushes and stuff because of, uh, there could be a snake or something under there, but by golly, that wasn't no snake. Woot, 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 woot. Oh, oh, I lost it. Uh-oh, there it is. Big enough to see. That one's gonna go probably a gram, pretty close. Yeah, I'm stoked. Well, I just got a really nice nugget right over, I don't know, about 10 feet from here, maybe not even that. And I got another target under a bush, kind of. Where was it? Right in here. Oh. I'm hearing my own head set. There we go. Look at this greenstone in here. Anyway, our target's right. Right in there. I'm gonna quiet this thing down real quick. Bump it up and down. Okay, now let's find it again. It's right in here. Dirt's pretty wet from all that rain we've got. This kept me out of the field for a while. And it cost me some gold hunt time. Yeah, I'm out now. Okay, this one's out a little ways. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, my friends. Some onion right there. Okay, we moved it. Right in here. Okay, we got her. Let's see what it is we got. Kind of deep to be a BB, so we got our fingers crossed. In my hand. Come on, nugget. Huh. Uh-oh, that's pretty deep for a darn small BB like that. But, that's what it is. Look at that little bugger. Ah, it's okay. That nugget I got was pretty darn nice. Better turn on the camera since I gotta scrape the top off, it's still in there. Oh, well, now we moved it. It doesn't sound good. Huh. Two targets in there. Got one of them. One's in my hand. Yeah, I'll give you a little better view here. No way. No, I thought that was gonna be a nugget, so a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Something in my hand here. Now it's in the scoop. Let's see. I don't see a BB. I've been digging a lot of pieces of tin can in here too. Okay, what do we got here? It's a tin can, do you believe? Yep, there it is. Piece of tin can. There's two targets there. I bet that's another one. But, you know what? To walk away from that other piece of tin can could be walking away from a nugget. I'm pretty sure it's going to be garbage, but I'm a patient man, and I like to find gold. And to find gold, we got to dig all targets. Okay, we got it out. Right in here. Okay. What do you want to bet, huh? Piece of tin? Sounds like it. So it's real raspy. Loud. Not staying in the scoop. I've heard people say they don't like these riffles. I do. Okay, so it's a matter of taste, really. Hey, it's right there in my hand. Yes, yeah, see what we got. I like the riffles because it holds a smaller nuggets and yeah, it gives you a little hope. <laughs> okay, it's one of these pieces of stuff in my hand, or scoop. This one, the rock, um, here's something solid. Nope, tin can, yep. There's another piece of tin, right there. Knew what it was, but still had to dig it. Well, once again, we got two little targets side by side here. One's over here. Let's see. Right here. The other one. Right here. Two more pieces of can, you suppose? Let's find out. Okay. That was out of the hole already. That's seldom a good thing. Let's see what it is. Huh. Something in there. Ow! <laughs> That's never fun. Ah. But part of living in the big AZ. Okay. Something tiny. Something real tiny. That might be it right there. Yeah, I don't know what the heck it is. A little piece of shiny metal of some kind, not gold. Alrighty, where's the other one? Piece of shiny metal, huh? <laughs> or a rock? Nope. No, okay, we're right on it. Down a little ways, that's good. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. 
<laughs> I see it. See that? Right here. Stuck in the riffle. Ooh, nice piece. Nice little piece. Huh? Heck yeah, I'll take it. I throw my dirt on there just to make sure there's no more targets in my hand, but hey, there's a nice old piece right there. That's three. Count them. One, two, three. That was down a ways. That little bugger was down, I don't know, four inches. Yep. He going in the jar. That's what the jar sounds like. That's a good jar. Oh. That's a good jar. And in it goes. Boink. Now I'm out here at San Domingo and I actively look for this sort of stuff. And all this little pink and gray stuff in here is volcanic tough. Ow! Just a second. I gotta remove this from my fingers. Ah. Uh, dang it. Oh, okay. Anyway. This grayish stuff, the lighter stuff in here, is volcanic tough, and there's other volcanic stuff in here. Here's a piece of rhyolite, and uh, if you notice, like right there, it's a piece of ironstone, and there's all kind of metamorphic and extrusive and uh, intrusive rocks mixed in on top of this. And out here in San Domingo, I actively look for these spots. I don't necessarily look for the bright red areas. I look for these. There's another big old pack rat nest right there. I look for spots like this, and you can see the mix of rock. There's ironstone, greenstone, and there's andesite in here, and you got the volcanic tuff it's laying on top of, and uh, it's always a good indicator out here at San Domingo. Well, not a bad day. Got three pretty nice nuggets. One small, but the other two are pretty good sized. And, uh, you know, I get people ask me a lot why I don't do detector comparisons, and I don't think they're fair. Um, I do them on my own. I mean, I'm a multi-line dealer, so yeah, I've tested all the new ones out there for the most part for gold and coin relic machines. I don't monkey with a whole lot of them, um, but I prefer mine lab from what I've tried. And without doing comparisons, it's pretty easy to tell what I like best. It's what I use. And it doesn't take a lot of research to go online and find out what the gold's being found with. That's your uh, ticket right there. Find what people are really finding gold with, and then you might want to make a decision on what you might want to try to find gold with. But anyway, here they are. Woot, woot. Some pretty nice nuggets. And this one especially. Yeah, that's a nice piece right there. Yep. Fresh out of the dirt at San Domingo. So anyway, my friends, if you like these videos and you want to learn some more about gold nugget hunting, or if you just like watching me gold nugget hunt, like, subscribe, ring the bell. And uh, you won't miss anything when I put it up. And hopefully it'll stay dry enough for a while that I can get out and we can get out camping and get in and get some quality videos. It's been a rough winter for rain here in the desert, but the desert sure needs it. We're going to have a lot of flowers and it's going to be real green. So anyway, my friends, nugget shooter out.